rappers and music producers is Curtis King of CurtisKing.com and in the past uploading music videos to online stores like Apple Music hasn't always been the easiest thing to do. Now the issue is that most of these streaming websites either make you pay a hefty fee per upload of a music video or they make you go through this headache of a process just for approval of your video to get distributed. And for artists like myself who have dozens and dozens of music videos all on YouTube, it can get really expensive when these distributors are charging 90 nine dollars per upload of a music video but they were the only option until now recently distrokid unveiled a new service called distrovid distrovid is a service that allows musicians to get their music videos into online stores like apple music vivo amazon music and Tidal video and just like distro kid distro vid allows you to upload an unlimited amount of music videos for one yearly subscription fee that subscription fee 99 a year yeah so with that said, let's break down how DistroVid works and how to upload your first music video. Okay, here we are now at distrovid.com. Now, once again, it's distrovidvid.com. When you're here, you're gonna have two options. One is to sign up for an account or to sign in if you already have a DistroKid account. If you click sign up, as you can see here, they said to use DistroVid, first create a free DistroKid account and then you'll click sign up. But since we already have a DistroKid account, I'm just gonna go ahead and sign in. Okay, now that we're here at the dashboard, let's go ahead and just upload our first music video. First thing that you're gonna see here are the platforms that your music video has the option to get distributed to. That includes Apple Music, Amazon, Tidal, Vivo, and DistroVid Gallery, which is coming soon, it's a new feature. Okay, next, we're gonna add in the artist's name. Curtis King. Now the next question, has this music video been previously released? Now I assume they're not talking about YouTube or Vimeo, but they're talking about through other distribution services. If that's the case, then you click yes and you put the original release date. If the answer is no, then you put the day that you actually wanna release the video. Record label. Now, if you're signed to a label or if you have your own label, this is where you put that information in. So I'm gonna put the Chill Palace. Next, you wanna determine what language your music video is in. Mine is obviously English. Next, you wanna put the primary genre and the secondary genre. I tend to fill these out in both categories. So it's hip hop, rap, R&B, soul. Next, song title. It's called Steve Jobs. Next, if you have a feature on the song that is in a music video, this is where you add that here. Next question, is this live concert footage or a live performance? Now, of course, sometimes artists make music videos that are kind of unofficial, that are like live performances or maybe even like an unplugged performance. This is where you wanna make sure that you indicate that. Next, this is where you're actually going to upload your music video file. But before you do that, it's important that you read this information here. They wanna make sure that this is not some random TikTok video, some vertical video that you just put on your social media. This is not a platform to just push your content through. This is specifically for music videos. Next, no ads. I actually had to take out the album cover at the end that had a release date and the streaming services that I was available on. You cannot use a steel image or an album cover and just put the music in the background and call it a music video. That is not going to work for them. Next thing, no partial songs. So you can't just put in a snippet or a trailer and then just throw it up here in the service. No medleys, meaning that you only can use one song per music video. All right, the next section, thumbnail image. Here, you're gonna actually give them a thumbnail timestamp for them to work with. I'm sure in the future, they'll have custom thumbnails for us to upload, but for right now, that's the option that is made available. Next, you wanna put your songwriter information and you wanna put their actual government names. Next, they wanna know if you wanna put additional credits for the music video. So if you wanna add in a video director, a cameraman, or even an editor, this is where you'd put that information. Next, it's asking if you have explicit lyrics. This song doesn't really have explicit lyrics, so I'm gonna ahead and put no. And next, to follow it up, it's asking, is this a radio edit? Meaning, was it once explicit and then you made it into a clean radio edit? Next, and this is the most exciting thing to me, you can create a Vivo channel by using the service. They're asking me here, does Curtis King have a Vivo channel? Unfortunately, he does not. So I'm gonna go ahead and click no. Next, artist mappings. They want to know the specific URL that points to your Apple Music artist page. You can literally Google that by putting Apple Music next to your artist name and then clicking on the link and then grabbing that URL from right here and copying it over. And then the last section is pretty standard for DistroKid in that they have some guidelines that wanna make sure that you click the boxes on before you actually submit this. Lastly, confirm that you read and agree to the terms and then click done.
Now, when that's done uploading, it's basically going to tell you that it takes about one to seven days to make your video live. It's a pretty straightforward process. I'll do an update video once my video actually uploads to the distribution services. But I'm curious, do you plan on using DistroVid? If so, leave it in the comments. But until the next time, have a good one.